Smart filters help you find key information quickly. They are located in the search panel and are organized under topic headers. To see all of the filters, select the Expand button at the top of the search panel. Some filters are populated with content from your project metadata, such as the email and domain filters. Others are populated with content generated by Accelerate at the time of processing, such as the exception filters, which provide information about documents that could not be fully processed. Still others are populated with user-applied coding field values, allowing you to quickly filter to a set of documents tagged a certain way. To demonstrate how smart filters work, let's open the All Recipients Smart Filter under the Communication group and take a look at its contents. This smart filter combines the two CC and BCC recipients into one easily searchable filter. Once opened, a hundred values are displayed in descending document count order. The list can be changed to alphabetical order by switching count to name. Alternatively, the list can be sorted by score. This option can be helpful when you have applied a keyword search before opening the filter, as it sorts the filter values for documents deemed most relevant to your search at the top. Towards the bottom of the list is an indicator letting you know how many values are currently displayed and how many additional values exist. As needed, click the Add 100 button to add the next 100 values to the list. When you see values of interest, select them and click the Apply button to apply the filter. If there are values that you do not immediately see on the list, you can use the Type Ahead functionality at the top of the Smart Filter to search within the Smart Filter for desired results. Mr. Kaminsky has quite a few additional email addresses with this name variation that we would have otherwise missed. When using Type Ahead, remember to search for name variations. Mr. Kaminsky's first name is Vincent, so let's add a V before Kaminsky to see if additional results return. No additional values are returned, so we are confident that we have found all variations here. Once a smart filter is applied, the results list updates to display only those documents that match the applied filter criteria. The current criteria panel displays the applied filter. Notice the criteria panel is not displaying every value, but instead lists the number of selections. To see the specific selections, click the pencil icon for the filter in the current criteria panel and the selected values display in the bottom half of the filter. Let's clear our applied filter. We can use the X in the current criteria panel or click clear in the search panel header and reopen the communication smart filter group. Filters can be used in conjunction with each other or keyword search in any order, and multiple searches and filters can be layered on top of one another. One of the most powerful ways to use smart filters is for what is called conversation mining. Conversation mining is a quick way to find out who is talking to whom about what. Let's take a look at how conversation mining works. Say, for instance, we are interested in communication sent from Jeff Dasevich to James Steffs. Open the sender address and type in Dasevich or J. Dasevich to expand the search for more relevant hits. Let's select all variations of his email address using the Select All Visible option. Now we click Apply to apply this filter. Open the All Recipients filter and type in Steffs.
The values with zero hits indicate that emails with James Steffs as a recipient exist in the data set, but they are not sent by Jeff Dasevich. Here, we get some quick insight into our data set simply by looking at a smart filter. We'll select all variations of James' email addresses, and we will apply this filter. Here, you can view the total number of emails that Jeff sent to James. You can read these emails now to determine what they were discussing, or to get a quick sense of the topics discussed in these emails, we can open up the Phrases Smart Filter and see the top phrases that are located within these documents. The Phrases Smart Filter is located under the Analytics Smart Filter group. In the Phrases Smart Filter, we see that they were discussing energy producers and price caps. This is something that we may be interested in, so we select those phrases and apply the filter. We've now filtered our dataset down to communications between two people of interest regarding a subject we are curious about. When you select multiple values within a filter, the values are applied like an OR search in that the return documents can contain any of the selected values, but are not required to contain all of the selected values. To locate the documents that contain a specific combination of all values, apply the same smart filter multiple times, each time with one of the desired values selected. Say, for instance, you filter down to all documents that have an email BCC. but now you are interested in looking at just those where the email to filter contains a specific name. We open the recipient name filter and locate the first name. Now we are looking at all emails that contain any value in the BCC which were also emailed to Richard Shapiro.